Hey guys, it's Monty. Welcome back to the channel. So today is the unboxing of the Scrap Diva Designs um, June release. Um, I ha do have a couple of projects to share with you, so I thought I'd do that real quick also. Um, let me share with you first. Um, this is the Scrap Diva website. Okay, and then here is all of Erica's information on the back there. Okay, so let's get started. Let me show you what all is in this release. So this first one is called A2 Gift Box. Let's see if I can get this up closer so you can see. There we go. There's two pages in here. So um, it's a this size of a gift box. I think it's about, looks like about five by looks like it's about five by six or so um, and then it comes with some flowers really pretty okay so that is the a2 yeah a2 gift box okay next up we have star nesting set so I have quite a few star nesting sets but I don't have any with rounded points so that is unique so I'm excited to do um, something with that. Thank you. Okay, next up we have fringed birthday balloons. So this is a really fun set. So you got your um, solid piece and then you have your layered pieces and there's three different sizes. So this is going to be super fun for birthdays and all different kinds of celebrations. Next up is the Party Hat Mini Album, which is super cute. I've been seeing so many cute, cute, cute examples. I decided to go with something else since I was seeing so many of those. Um, so I picked a couple other dies to, to use first. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll be using that soon because it is one of my favorites. Okay, then next up we have the Beach Chair Mini Album. Super cute. This is gonna be so cute for beach theme. Uh, like with Maggie Holmes, you know, like sunny days or something like that. It is going to be gorgeous for using for that. Uh, then we have 3D Tiny Vial Box. So this is a cute little box. Fits the little small vials. It's got a window. It's got um, layering pieces. Um, it has this bow with the layering pieces for the bow as you fold it up. Really cute. Seen some really cute designs on that. I've also seen people put some like beads and stuff in it. So. There's probably quite a few possibilities um, on what you can use that for also. Probably like a, maybe like a lip balm type thing, all, all kinds of stuff. Okay, and then next up we have the Star Slimline card. So this is going to be a fun one too. This is, I'm gonna have an example for this one. Um, so you get your outline piece for your base piece and then this, um, this plate here that, that cuts out all the stars. <laughs> I have a whole big old pile of little stars that I cut out, so this makes a fun little confetti piece also for, you know, adding to like a sequence mix or something, so think about that also. Okay, um, then next we have party words. And I didn't cut these out yet, but let me read them to you. We got happy birthday, we have party, and then another party. So we got a couple different fonts going on here. Um, we have, I'm not sure, let me pull this out a little bit farther so I can see it. I read them all once already, but now I can't remember what they all said. So then we have, um, oh, this is hooray, celebrate, happy day, and then here's a hooray in the other font. So these two are these kind of larger fonts, you know, more bolder, and then these are more, you know, like script. So, and then this one here is uh, make a wish. So, fun, fun things again for party, celebration, birthdays, you know, all different kinds of celebration things. So that will be very fun. Okay, next we have this one, which is called Honeycomb Slimline Card. Love this one also. So you got your base piece and then the piece that comes out the honeycomb okay and then we have the 3d gift box 
which is right here. There's also two pages in this, so some of the dies you, you can't see. Um, but I'm gonna show you. This is one that I also made. I'll have an example for you. And then lastly, we have this one, which is called Fringe Star Bundle. So again, the other one was balloons. This is stars. So you got three different sizes. They're kind of all flopping around in there because I've used this one. So you got your um, three different sizes of kind of your base and then your three different sizes of the fringe. So very fun also. So let me show you a couple things that I made. So first up, I made a slimline card. I made it, you know, for like a 4th of July celebrate. That is, this is using the star one, but this could be used for way more than just this. Um, I have another idea for what my next one's gonna be, but I decided just to kind of go with a 4th of July type um, theme on this one. And super, super cute. Very easy to put together. It cut really easy, so love it. So I'm using the red, white, and blue. Well, hopefully you're not hearing that. My son's playing games online and he gets a little, <laughs> it's a little uh, loud sometimes. <clears throat> okay, uh, let's see. Oh, let me just point out to you also, now this word celebrate right here, that is part of the summer word, uh, the party words set that I just shared with you. So there is that, That's so you can see what the font looks like on all the ones that are the, like the script, um, you know, font. Okay, so there's that. Okay, then next up, I used this one, which is called the Honeycomb Slimline. But I also feel like Honeycomb, especially this one here, that it looks like chicken wire, okay? Especially this here, um, let me show you here. See, if you look right in here, you can see there's kind of like a little squiggly line. So to me, that really looks like um, like chicken wire type in between that, and I love that. And I, you probably heard me say before, I used to make a ton of like vintage type things. And I kind of think of chicken wire as kind of a vintage type um, element to use in some projects. So I decided to make mine like a, you know, so it's more like chicken wire. So rather than being a, you know, like a bee theme thing, which I've seen a lot of cute bee cards, you know, because um, it's, you know, it's titled, you know, the honey or what's it called? Yeah, honeycomb slimline. So I decided to make mine kind of a, you know, kind of a more vintage um, type card. So I have it layered up here on pattern paper. I have a green card base. I have like little doilies tucked behind here, some ephemera pieces, a little bow on top. It's all layered up. Some little, a little dangle that I had and then a little charm here it says seeds and I got my little bee right here I put some cute little um, pretty little velvet um, just a strip of velvet ribbon across there some more ephemera pieces I have popped up on foam different layers and then a flower here um, and then I've tucked some like this some of the chiffon ribbon stuff from Hobby Lobby up underneath there this is a sentiment piece from um, that Tim Holtz one of the Tim Holtz um, you know, like little label sticker sheet things. So I thought that looked real cute right there. And then I have a couple of little um, brads from the collection. The collection I'm using, the collection I'm using on for this one is part of the uh, simple vintage spring garden. So I don't have a ton of more like vintage looking things anymore. But I know I had gotten a couple sheets. I only had like two pieces of paper and then I had some of the, you know, that those um, ephemera pieces and stuff to go with it. So I decided to use that and I think it turned out really pretty. And then inside, I have it layered up. This piece here is a piece of like handmade paper. So it's real, uh, it's kind of vintage looking. And then I just put, you know, a little piece of the pattern paper right here and then popped up a little um, butterfly right there. And then my thing on the back, make sure you guys, when you make cards and stuff and projects, make sure you, you know, put your put your uh, name and stuff on the back so people will know who it's you know who it's coming from and that kind of stuff. People love to see that. Okay, so there is the card that I made for that. 
And then <clears throat> my third project that I made is using this, like I said, which is called the 3D gift box. And this is what it looks like. Okay, let me pull this off so you can see the, so this is the shape of it back here. Um, it's a really good size box. So you can fit quite a bit in there. Um, I just cut mine out of pink paper first to see what it was gonna, I wasn't sure how to put it together. And a lot of times what I do is just cut everything out, cut the pieces out, and then just start kind of lining up where things match, you know, like the same length and stuff. And that kind of helps you be able to figure out how this, you know, how things go together. And then it came with all the layering pieces. So all the layering pieces are stitched, you know, on the bottom, all these sides, the front, inside piece. And I put a piece on the back also. And then I used some of the cute little um, fringe stars, which is this one that I show you. So the fringe star is right here and I sewed, I layered up like three of the fringes and one of the plain base pieces on the back, stitched through it. And then I um, used another, that um, celebrate word again from the um, party words and I put it in black. So I didn't decorate anything else inside or anything because I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it for sure. And then I just have this clip that I clipped on top here. I thought it looked pretty. I'm using the Sunny Days. This is um, out of Sunny Days Maggie Home stuff. So I'm gonna make some more items to go with that. So anyway, that is that. So those are the quick project shares that I have, that I've made so far. Um, I will list everything below. Um, tonight is the eve of um, the uh, Scrap Diva Designs release, so they'll be available at midnight tonight. So I will, this video will be up before then, and then I will be back on before midnight to add in, or at midnight to add in all the links for you guys, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll have um, the website linked. And then um, I'll list my discount code. Be sure you use that. If you decide to pick up anything, it saves you 10%. Uh, my, my discount code is POLKA10, P-O-L-K-A-10. Um, and then once, I will have all these listed out, but I won't have the links until midnight. Okay, so I will come back on and do all the links for you that match up to the, you know, to the dies. So you'll be able to find them easily. Okay, thank you so much for watching. And leave me a comment. Let me know what's your favorite one you think going to be out of this release. All right. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.